which you will be sampling um, air quality from two locations, looking for particularly a type of um, pollutant called particulate matter, we, which could be made up of metals or soot or dust or many other things that you've learned in lecture five. Please uh, read the lab instructions that were provided. So for this lab, you're going to need some type of white poster board or paper plates or index cards or anything that you can cut into three inch by three inch squares. But then you'll need about six of these squares, which I'll show you, need, uh, you'll show you a little later. You'll also need scissors to do the cutting, a hole punch. And if you don't have a hole punch, just use anything to make a hole. It could be the edge of a scissor. Um, I'd like you to have it take pictures or photographs of your results using your cell phone or any other camera. You need some string and either petroleum jelly, that means Vaseline or any type of brand. Um, I think you could also use clear lip, um, lip balm too might work for this or some type of light colored cooking oil like canola oil. You need a permanent marker to label your co um, collection plates and I provide an assignment sheet for you to put your results. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting out six pieces of cardboard in two different locations and I'll explain that a little more but you can end up placing these things here which is going to be a cardboard square and you're going to write in here your sample area uh, well your sample number and area and I'll show you how to do that and um, basically you'll be collecting soot on here so when you make your squares you're going to make a template like this exactly like this and label it sample one okay um, sample two sample area three same here and this would be area one area one area one area two area two area two so that means for area two I mean area one you might pick let's say the side of your house as a place to look at and collect air quality and then area two you'll be taking three samples one two and three of maybe an area near a park or someplace that you think the air quality might be a little different that's nearby. So, on, so you're going to make your original template and then cut these out to have a single square like that. And um, then what you can do is place your label here exactly like these say, cut a hole and hang from a, a, a string somewhere on a tree or whatever where these can hang at least you know, away from where kids can reach and maybe tear them down because he's going to be hanging out for a, a several days. So the idea is that you're going to have three samples in two areas. OK, and again, I'll explain this a little more as I go through the introduction and you'll be looking for the accumulation of soot or dust or something on the Vaseline that's put on here. So you can have your written area. You're going to put the grease or the oil here and that's going to collect the dust and something you could also do if you want to you could actually tape a magnet to the back of this and actually it will help you to better collect metal dust and some certain types of clay that are found in the air so what are some sample areas that you can do if you live in an apartment or a house you can hang three samples off your balcony or you can put them somewhere in a tree near a place or anywhere you can just tape them to an outside wall if you want uh, or you can just hang them out a window but you want three of them located near each other or sometimes a little space from each other just so you know you're going to take the average of three samples from one area your second area could be your place of work you can hang these things here or hang them off a window where nobody sees you can also hang them from a tree in a nearby area or if you live in a rural area, you can put them near a farmhouse or near, near a storage unit, whatever you want to do. So again, you're going to be sampling from two different places. So if I was doing this experiment, I take um, area number one, which would be my house, and I'd hang three of these around the outside of my house. And then what I might do is I might go to a nearby park, which is walking distance from my house, and hang these from a tree inconspicuously so people don't pull them off and you might want to keep some extra ones just in case people do remove them because it's stupid but this does happen.
So after a few days, once you collect your samples, you'll have three samples from area one, three samples from area two. And I want you to just look at your three samples from a particular area and look for the soot or the dirt that ends up sticking to the petroleum. And I'd like you to just compare the samples from within an area and then between the two areas. And please um, take pictures of these little sample plates to include in your lab write-up, which the write-up has several questions and it will be posted on D2L with the Laboratory 5 uh, mod lab module. So good luck with your assignment.